This morning I'm here to complete the second stage of my early potatoes. Now the first stage was when I planted them which is now around about two weeks ago, just a little over two weeks ago, late in August, that I came along and took the plastic off that I had uh, had over it over winter. To give you some context, I had grown pumpkins in this area over last summer and I had put down newspaper and straw and then compost where the actual pumpkins were grown. And at the end of the pumpkin season, I simply covered it all with the black plastic without doing anything more to it. So the first thing that I had to do was remove a lot of the excess straw and weed that was there. There wasn't a lot. The worms had been very busy over winter and add that to the compost heap. Once I removed that excess, I was then able to scratch out the compost and spread it around a little bit rather than just having it in piles. I decided not to bring the rotary hoe in as would be my usual process. The reason being that there was lots and lots of worms in the ground and I really didn't want to run a rotary hoe through them. They had done a good job of keeping it fairly loose. So I simply went through with the fork loosening up the areas that I was going to put the potatoes in. Once I had loosened the ground up, I was able to put the furrows for the potatoes in quite easily. I then added a little bit of blood and bone, a little bit of extra fertiliser never hurts in my soil to give the potatoes a little bit of a boost. The potatoes that I put in here is some Nicola seed potatoes that I had bought and also had cut so that they were multiplied and I had a nice amount to actually put into this area from a single bag of seed potatoes. Once I had planted the potatoes, as is my usual practice, I dug out my compost and then added that on top of the potatoes, putting a good layer, filling basically all those uh, furrows that I had put the potatoes in. Again, I dragged a little bit of the soil back over the top just to cover the compost. Once this was done, I brought the plastic back over it and now it's been sitting for, as I say, two to three weeks, somewhere in that region. I don't remember the exact date I did it. And I've had a peak a couple of days ago and the potatoes are beginning to shoot through. So it's time to get this plastic off and see what's happening underneath. So now you can see what's happening underneath. As you see, I've got three rows in here and most of them are now coming through with some really nice, strong shoots. Yellow, of course, because they've been under that black plastic and that's why it's really important that that black plastic goes off now. They get some sunlight and they really start to grow. The black plastic has done its job of warming the soil, speeding the process, also of protecting them from any possible frost. Though we still possibly could get frost now for up to a month from this date, but it's not very likely. I've looked at the weather forecast for the next week and all the minimum temperatures are quite high, so frost is really not likely in the next week. But you never know when we could get a cool turn. So I would really do need to be ready to potentially protect the potatoes if that does happen. Sometimes I will come over and just put clear plastic over them for a couple of weeks when they like this. But today what I'm going to do instead is actually just come in with some straw. Now straw does carry its own risk because dry mulches like straw will actually attract frost and encourage it to settle. So if we did get frost that could result in a greater burn on the leaves. So I will have to keep an eye on that weather forecast and come in with some plastic if frost uh, is likely. But I won't be doing it unless there is a likelihood of frost. Now you'll notice of course that there is quite a lot of weed growth as well. With the ground disturbance all these seeds have decided to germinate along with the potatoes. You could use some newspaper in between the rows of potatoes, which would really help reduce that growth. 
I don't have that newspaper available to me right now to use. So I will go through and give it a light scratch with the 4 co just to disturb those weeds and make sure that they lose that head start that they've got. Putting the straw over then should be sufficient to suppress most of that growth. Once the potatoes come up and create their own canopy, of course, that'll be fine. Now, because I quite frequently use straw for this type of mulching, I buy straw directly from the farmer. In the summertime, in Tasmania here, that is uh, January, February, when they're actually cutting it. That way I get it at the best price. It does mean that I need to store it, but that's fairly easy to do. And that means that I have it available when I need it and I haven't paid excessive amounts of money for it. Now you'll notice that I'm breaking up some of these clumps of straw and making sure that they spread around. The reason for that is that not all of the potatoes have come through yet and I don't want thick clumps of straw over where potatoes may come through. Prefer it a little bit more open so that they can find their way through quite easily. Done, it looks a little bit messy and a bit lumpy. I would water it to settle with straw, except that I am expecting a shower of rain tonight and hopefully that'll do the job. We don't get any strong winds in the meantime. These potatoes now are really set for the season. In November, it usually begins to dry out and I'll probably need to water them two or three times. I will expect to dig these potatoes, which were planted in late August, sometime in December, usually towards the end of December. But this, as I said, is the early crop of potatoes. I will plant a second crop of potatoes next to it here in mid-October to late October, and that crop will grow across the summer. Planting potatoes early, if you're not using the plastic to protect them or not ready to keep a check on the weather and protect them, has some risk. If you do get some frost on them, usually because the frosts are not so intense, it's only a minor damage. It will set them back a little bit, but it generally won't wipe them out. Unless you're in areas that are very cold, but you should actually you know, look at your local conditions. Don't plant potatoes closer than two weeks before you last frost, unless you're actually prepared to come in and give them some type of protection. Hopefully that's given you some ideas as to what you can do in your area and we look forward to a, a good crop in the summer.